Buying a BMW, even a used one, isn't cheap. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it wasn't. So when the radiator explodes a few months after you buy it, you call the dealership. I was advised by the salesman that I bought the car from that he would check and see if it still fa fell under Van York's promise or something they called it. Well, it didn't. And Sonia Weeks had to pony up more than $500 to have it fixed. I'm absolutely frustrated. I'm frustrated in the fact that you would, number one, sell me a car just to make quota, I reckon. About two months later, another issue. I hadn't had it six months and I already had to play, replace the radiator and now the heater was broke. Again, she contacted the dealership. And he referred me to some, some company down the street that they used to take my car and obviously have to the estimate to repair, almost $600, an email sent to the dealership. One of my coworkers said, you should copy News 2 on it, and I said, great idea. We reached out to Sonia and the repair shop, that heater most likely clogged at the point of sale. We then called the dealership. I think nothing would have been done if you all hadn't, um, if you hadn't reached out. The dealership agreeing to inspect and ultimately replace the heating system. Definitely thank you for your services. Thank you for what you all do. I appreciate this too much tonight. Before buying a car, it is important to know if there is a warranty or if you're buying it as is, which typically means if it breaks, you pay to repair, not the place you bought it from. Kevin Kennedy, two wants to know.